2x plus 5y equals 103. Find the number of positive integers x and y that satisfy this equation. I'm looking for positive integers, a very important idea. 2x plus 5y is 103. I'm going to start off by trying to find one value. I want to think about this. We know that 5y is a multiple of 5. And so if you write this as 5y equals 103 minus 2x. Then if we knock off 2x from this, we should get a multiple of 5. And the, the multiple of 5 less than 103 is 100. But then 2x cannot be 3. So that is ruled out. The first value of y that works is when 5y will be equal to 95. And so, or y equal to 19 and x equal to 4 works. y is 19, x is 4. That will work because 5y will become a multiple of 5, 95 plus 2x, 8 will become 103. I'm just trying to find the first value that works, going for the highest possible value of y or the smallest possible value of x. I found that out. Now, think about this 2x, 5y is 103 minus 2x. We found one value 5 into 19 equals 103 minus 2 into 4. Now, if we increase x, we increase x by say 1, we make x as 5, then this side drops by 2, y cannot be an integer. We increase x by 2, this x dropped by 4, 2x dropped by 4, this side dropped by 4, 5y five cannot, five, it is not a multiple of 5, so it cannot be an integer. I hope you are getting where I am going to with this. If y equal to 19, x equal to 4 is the first value, the next value will happen when I change x by a certain number, 2x becomes a multiple of 5. So that this can get, this can offset that. Or if I put x, if 2x has to be a multiple of 5, x has to be a multiple of 5. x becomes 9. 2x becomes 10. 10 has to be offset here. y will be 17. So 2 into 9 plus 5 into 17 is 103. Let's verify this. 18 plus 85 is 103. We started with the first set of values we tried were 8 plus 95. Next, we have gone to 18 plus 85. We're reducing this by 10, increasing this by 10. This has to be offset by that. This is a multiple of 5. This difference will always be a multiple of 2. So effectively, I step up 10, step down 10 and through. Right? Or the next value will be y equal to 15, x equal to 14 y equal to 13, x equal to 19 and so on. What is the smallest value y can take? y can be 1. When y is 1, find x. 5 y is 5, x is 49. I don't need, I need to count how many pairs are there. So let's not even worry about x. y goes from 1 to 19, all odd numbers from 1 to 19. So we're effectively counting 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, all the way till 19. So this is nothing but 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, all the way till 20, minus 1 each. So 10 multiples of 2, minus 1. So there are 10 sets of positive integers that satisfy this. this. These kind of questions are common. They're important because you need to keep one eye on detail. You cannot miss out one value and mark 9 or 11. And so you should be very careful about that. Uh, make sure you find one value and then think about what will be the value before it, value after that. And then start counting. And simple enough question, but you have to be very careful with the detail.